Perfect. All right, Emily, the floor is yours. Awesome. Awesome. So thank you again. And thank you to Robert for setting all of this up um, for having me. I'm just going to do a brief presentation for you guys. Um, and Robert, I think you may need to make me a host for a brief moment just so I can share my screen with you all. I think you can share it anyways, but let's. Ah, yes, you are correct. Okay. Oh, awesome. good. I thought I was going to have to do something. <laughs> No, no worries. Alrighty. You know, how many, how many months have we been all been on Zoom? It's still. <laughs> okay, great. Can you all see my, um, my PowerPoint? Yeah, I can see it. Thumbs up. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Going to start. Okay, great. So hello, everybody, and thank you again for having me. My name is Emily, and I am the Brokerage Presentation Coordinator for Curbio. Uh, and today I'm just going to talk to you about an absolute game changer for growing your real estate business and enhancing your client experience. Um, again, we will have plenty of time for a Q&A at the end. Feel free to blow up the chat um, with any questions as well as you have them. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to insert a few links into the chat as well that I will be referencing during the presentation um, to help you get started with Curbio. So let's go ahead and get into it. All righty, guys. So we can all agree, essentially, since the beginning of time, realtors have been recommending updates and repairs for a property to get it ready to be listed. Turnkey homes sell faster and for more, um, but even things like paint, updating flooring, and landscaping are essential to getting a listing market ready. And this is nothing new. Right now, 80% of America's homes are now 20 years or older, and buyers are wanting move-in ready homes, which is why home improvement has become part of the job for you as an agent for virtually all of your listings which is why we're seeing a high rise and demand in concierge services. So with that disparity with the agent, aging inventory and the turnkey homes that buyers are wanting, there is that high demand for concierge services. Um, as we all know, while necessary for getting the home ready for market, homeowners don't always want to shell out cash to make these updates. And as a result, many brokerages are offering a concierge service, which essentially is a financing options for clients to defer all payment until the home closes. And this is becoming super attractive to sellers and real estate agents whose brokerages offer these concierge services are winning listings left and right, which sounds like some of you have been doing already, which is awesome. Um, but I like to think of it this way. So when you're walking around pointing out this needs to be updated, the flooring needs to be redone, the bathrooms have to be refinished, it's really not a fun process for your clients. And it can be a lot easier if you're saying, hey, you know, we have to do all these updates, but we can wrap everything into your, all the costs into closing and you'll barely notice it instead of asking them for a $25,000 check right now. So, you know, it's the best way to get those updates done without that uncomfortable process of asking for cash up front. Um, so, um, your clients can make the updates whether they have the means or not. Um, and who wouldn't want that? So with these concierge services, there is a catch. Um, they still leave the agent and the homeowner responsible for coordinating the projects. And this process really hasn't changed in decades. Uh, so how many of you have ever been burned by an unreliable contractor? Or have had a mishap with a client due to an unprofessional or disjointed experience? There are cost overruns, delays, waiting weeks just to get a proposal. It seems like there's always something new, a new issue when it comes to home improvement. And even small jobs like painting or landscaping can create a lot of confusion and stress when dealing with a real estate transaction. And worst case scenario, it can be a deal killer. And that's the last thing you want as a real estate agent, especially when your reputation is on the line. And then let's talk about the fact that you're not being paid to go to Home Depot. You're wanting to get to closing as quickly as possible and build great relationships with your clients and not chase down contractors. 
And that is where Curbio comes in. Uh, so Curbio is exclusively focused on home improvement projects for real estate transactions. And we only work with people represented represented by a licensed realtor. And we know that you need to get to closing quickly with certainty and a peace of mind. And we've designed our entire process around that. And we want to make home improvement projects accessible to everyone selling or buying a home. So what makes us different, you ask? Well, we are completely turnkey. We take care of everything for you. Unlike other concierge services and the antiquated way of doing things, we take care of everything for you from start to finish. And we are also tech powered. So I will discuss the app a bit more in detail later in the presentation, um, but we have completely streamlined this process to get those listings ready for market or move in. And that is because we are using technology. And the fan favorite, fix now or pay later. So on the sell side, clients never have to pay anything until the house closes. No credit checks, no interest, and no hidden fees. And we can work with your buyers as well. We partner with uh, a few financing companies and they can uh, do your client's dream renovation and get it done quick quickly and be approved with that financing option within 24 hours or paying cash once the project is finished. Alrighty, so the other big benefit of working with Curbio is that there are no minimums and no maximums for our project. This is huge. So the scope of work is essentially determined by the amount of equity that's available in the home. So think of us as your all-in-one partner for home improvements, whether they be big or small. We can help get your listings ready, market ready uh, with those pre-sale improvements from painting to floor refinishing to bigger updates to increase the list price with all payment deferred until closing. And then we can also help with inspection repairs uh, from easily quoting the work um, and also uh, making those repairs for you. And then we can also help your buyers do any renovations that they want to do for their new home and make that move in ready. So oftentimes, especially in this market, buyers are um, buying homes as is, and they want to paint, refinish the floors and update the kitchen immediately. And with Curbio, we can get started as soon as one day, um, as the next day after they close on that home and quickly update um, their brand, brand new dream home. So again, think of Curbio as your go-to contractor and partner for all of your projects. We're often asked, can Curbio replace a roof? What about mold remediation? The answer is we can help with pretty much anything. Um, so here is just a condensed list of, of some of the things that we can do. Um, if we listed everything we could do, it would definitely not fit in this slide. Um, so the only thing that we don't really do are additions. Um, we try to home it, hone in on the, um, the footprint of the home and improving what's already there. Um, but essentially anything else, we can do it. And with Curbio, the process is completely turnkey. Again, a lot of agents think of Curbio as a check mark on their listing prep, having an estimate ready to go from the jump. So I will drop a link to our free estimate link um, where you can fill out a form for a free estimate. And you can bring this to your listing, whether you've won that listing or not. So you can ascend, you can use this for sure um, to help you gain that advantage over any other agents that may be competing for that listing. Um, and then once you have a Curbio project, you and your client will have to do very little to get that listing ready. Our professional team of experts will handle everything from that initial proposal to final punch list, leaving you to do what you do best, which is sell homes, uh, make great relationships with your clients, um, gain more listings, and even get a greater amount of work-life balance. Curbio literally saves you days of project management time. So you can become much more efficient with Curbio as your go-to contractor. Behind every Curbio project are a team of experts with Dedicate uh, decades of experience in the home improvement industry 
um, and real estate industry, uh, and they are there to get you to closing lawlessly. Uh, so first, you'll interact with one of our home improvement consultants, or HICs as we call them, uh, and they'll get you started with that fast, reliable estimate for any home improvement projects. They'll learn a little bit more about the property and advise you, if desired, on which updates will help drive the best ROI uh, based on the over uh, 1,200 projects we have completed. Once your project kicks off, you'll be assigned a dedicated project manager who will quickly become your go-to reliable contractor for any of your listing project needs. Our project managers are full-time salaried employees of Curbio and only work on Curbio projects, which means that they are dedicated to getting you to closing fast and reliably. And they're local to your Aber local to your area. They're essentially your neighbors. Um, so you can actually meet with them in person if you'd like, um, and they have intimate knowledge of what customers in your area want. And we have in-house designers on staff to help us with floor plan changes and those bigger renovations. And our subcontractors are all handpicked and vetted by Curbio. Everyone we work with is licensed and insured and trustworthy and trained by the Curbio standard. So basically we ensure that we work with the best. So once you uh, sign your contract and the project is kicked off, you will have access to the Curbio app. So with the Curbio app, you can track the progress of any listings um, that you have going on with your clients, any of those projects. You can stay up to date on all of those projects with videos and photos and text messages. Um, it's kind of like a live social feed. So think of it as like a Facebook news feed for your uh, home improvement projects. You can schedule meetings in the app as well. You can select all of your materials and make decisions on finishes in the app. You can request other estimates for other projects in the app as well. And you can get the latest marketing materials to win more listings with Curbio. The app opens the lines of communication. It saves you countless hours of, uh, of time that would have been spent going to the site, chasing down your subcontractors, um, and it ultimately keeps the project moving smoothly, which is what we all want. And Curbio moves with urgency, and we value speed as much as you do. We believe that you shouldn't have to wait weeks for a proposal. So we provide free same day estimates. We have real time availability with that Curbio app and we have faster project times. So because of our process and our technology, we complete projects in less than half the time of the typical contractor with no delays. And we can start in as little as three business days after the contract is signed, uh, we get projects done in half the time again, and we exclusively work with agents. So you feel prioritized with consistent and frequent communication from Curbio. So when it comes to our materials, Curbio keeps a very curated portfolio of materials in stock and ready, and they are all ready to ship. We know what's trending and, and what buyers want in your market, and we've curated the selection to eliminate all decision making and condense those project times. Uh, and our materials are very high quality. Um, we have two lines. Our signature line is uh, still above builder quality, and it's beautiful. I would highly recommend checking it out on Curvio.com. Um, and then we have our luxury line. Uh, so our luxury line has higher end appliances such as Viking and higher end stones. But the bottom line is that it's a very easy process. And if your client has a specific material, material that they like to use, they can certainly do that. But um, picking out these materials and using our signature line or our luxury line is our typical process. Awesome. So for our pay at closing model, it's super simple. I wanted to point out that there are, again, no fees, no interest, and no credit checks, and it's based on the equity available in the home. And in terms of getting paid, we keep it simple. We just put a, a simple clause in the contract stating that we get paid at closing um, with no liens or deeds of trust required or enforcements. And on the buy side, the client can pay at completion with no deposit or uh, progress payments 
or they can finance with one of our partners and be approved within 24 hours. And our pricing you'll find is very competitive with the local general contractor. We have designed uh, we have designed it that way so that pricing isn't a barrier for working with us um, on a project and we want to be your partner. And we have a price match guarantee as well. Um, so if you happen to run into a contractor that has um, lower pricing and you come to us with an apples to apples estimate for the same work, we are happy to honor that lower price for you just so that we can keep it consistent. And then we also won't charge you due to our workload or our seasonality, which is fairly common with other contractors. You'll essentially get the same price for, let's say, a bathroom refresh now and forever. All right, so if you were familiar with Kirby L before, you'll probably want to know that we've made some important updates to make your life easier and make it even more accessible to use Kirby L. Uh, we no longer have project minimums, which is huge. Um, we have no price reductions required. That used to be the case, but no longer is. We have very, very simple contract terms. Uh, we have no liens or deeds of trust. Um, it's no longer required as well. We are expanding our coverage areas. Um, we are in 28 markets and counting, um, adding more every day. Um, and now you can invite your contractors to the Kirby O network. So if you work with somebody that you love, an awesome painter or um, electrician, you can invite them to join you on your Kirby O projects, um, just making the whole experience even better and then widening our net as well. So to get started with Curbio, it's super simple. You just visit curbio.com and request a free estimate, but I will be putting a special link for you guys in the chat as well. Um, and then you'll just input the property address, your contact information as the agent, um, and then a home improvement consultant will get in touch with you right away, seemingly immediately. Um, and they'll just ask you some more information about, ask for some more information about the property. Um, if you can provide photos or videos, that's super helpful. But if you don't have those, no worries. We can still get you that estimate. Then you'll have a conversation with the home improvement consultant about the property, um, just for them to gain some more insight. And then they'll give you that estimate. And then if you've already done a project with Curbio, you can log back into your app and easily request another estimate there. Awesome. So if you guys have liked what you've heard today and you want to grow your business with Curbio um, and compete with other agents, then great. We have a free customizable marketing um, uh, material deck that I will, again, post in the chat that you can access on Curbio.com as well. Uh, in this marketing toolkit, you'll be able to find listing presentation slides, postcards, social media templates, flyers, and all of this is customizable. You can put your logo, you can put your headshot. Feel free to get really creative with those marketing materials. So guys, let's make real estate move together. Again, if you have a project in mind, use the link in the chat that I'm going to drop in a few moments to request a free estimate or download your free marketing toolkit to use Curbio to win your listings ASAP. Um, so we're going to go ahead and have a few minutes for a Q&A. Um, if we have any questions I don't get to today, um, you can email team at Curbio.com. Um, you can also get in contact with me as well. Um, but I'll go ahead and open up the floor, guys, and I'll drop those links right now as promised. And they also Thank have a you. case study in California there as well. Thank you very much. Uh, good stuff, good stuff, Robert. Thanks for bringing this in. Okay, so uh, Esther and Mike had asked, what happens if you work on a property and the homeowner, uh, what does it say here? Decides not to sell. Decide, what happens you. if the property doesn't sell in a nutshell? Gotcha. Um, so if the property doesn't sell, we find that it's fairly rare. It's a fairly rare occurrence, um, but, you know, it could always be in the realm of possibility. So with that, you have a year to sell the property. And then after that, you can apply to have that um, that date extended. 
Um, but essentially after that year, you would just pay Curbio for the work that was done. And then again, if the homeowner wanted to um, not sell the home anymore after the improvements that they loved it so much, again, they would just uh, pay Curbio for the work that was done. Similar to the buy side. So I'm curious, uh, you said there's no interest and no fee for this? Is that, did I hear that right? Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm kind of believer that there's no such thing as a free lunch. So it kind of sounds like they're jacking up the prices. I'm being devil's advocate. I like the program. But um, is that where the profit is? No, just the, the scale of work that we do. Um, we get paid the same way a contract, a general contractor does um, by the projects that we work on. Um, so I know it does sound way too good to be true. Uh, I understand the devil's advocate point of view. Um, but yeah, we just, the, with the relationships that we have with our um, material providers um, and the, the large scale, since we are a national company, um, is how we are making money. And we are um, continuing to keep Curbio going for the long run. And we also don't spend a lot of marketing dollars. Um, since we are working with agents and then we have okay. partnerships with a few brokerages as well. Okay. Uh, good. Thank you. Meg had a question about uh, the uh, estimate process. Meg, you want to clarify the question? Um, yes. So we're just wondering what does that process look like for the client? Does a person come to the home and do a walkthrough or is it done completely virtually? Like just what does that process look like? Meg, you're throwing your voice. <laughs> I'm her assistant. I'm speaking for her. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, so with the estimate process, um, once we will, we'll just ask the agent to provide us for um photos and videos. And then um, towards the end of the process, when we're getting the contract ready to go, we'll send out a 3D Matterport technician um, to go ahead and make a Matterport of the home just so we can get like the more intimate, um, like measurements of the home so that we can give a more accurate um, quote for the scope of work. Um, so the, the homeowner doesn't have to do too much. Again, we only work with um, those that are represented represented by a licensed realtor. Um, so the and the the contract is essentially between your customer and Curbio. Um, but again, we only work with um, those that are represented by uh, a licensed agent. So does the contractor not actually go there in person for the bid? He doesn't, not until the contract is signed. Essentially, that's what the matter, the 3D Matterport is for. Mm -hmm. And does Curbio pay for that, the Matterport photo? Yes, ma'am. We sure do. Mm -hmm. Hi, Emily. My name is Abigail. What would happen if, let's say, for example, the person, you guys, uh, let's say you guys give a, an estimate, and after the contractor goes there in person, starts removing walls and, and sees that there's and determines that there's more work to be done, what would happen? Yeah, our estimates leave room for change orders, just like a little bit of wiggle room for that type of situation. Um, so, so yeah, so there is, we kind of make room for that at the beginning. Um, so that if, you know, we go into the walls and there's something going on inside the walls that we didn't see before, um, there is like a wiggle room for that, um, so the for that situation. So the estimate would include the buffer, right? Yes. And okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I deal with a lot of contractors and um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on with contractors. So, okay, good. Mm -hmm. So that would be refunded to the client if, if they don't use that extra buffer, right? Yes. So it, we... We use the amount of equity that's available in the home, but we don't we don't always use everything that's available, right? Um, so yeah, so we'll just quote we'll just quote you exactly. You know, um, we won't have the customer pay for more than what was done, um, and then if they 
request something that's not in-house to be done. Um, so let's say if they wanted to, you know, go to an Airbnb for a night or two so that the work could be done a, a bit faster, uh, Curbio could, could pay for that. And then that would just be added on as like an admin fee and all roll into closing. Right. Vacation time. <laughs> <clears throat> Right. Who doesn't want that? Well, they well they also pay for the real estate agent to go too. <laughs> if you can, you know, share a bed with your client. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just kidding. So, Emily, a couple other questions here uh, in the chat box. If the if the home doesn't sell in a year, is there a fee for the delay when the client ends up paying for it out of pocket? So there would be a fee to extend the deadline. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or again, they can pay Curbio for the work that was done. Got it. Okay. Is the amount of, sorry, to add on to that question, is there in the contract, is that fee outlined if this, then that? Yes, that would be outlined in the contract. Got it. Thank you. So no surprises. Yeah, we try to keep it very simple. Yeah. And then what, and then you said based on the equity for the, the minimum maximum project. So kind of talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so essentially the formula for this would be 80% of the, um, ARV, and then we would subtract any mortgages or liens that are on the, uh, on the property. And that would determine the amount of ec like the budget essentially we have, um, for the project. So 80% and then minus any liens or things like that. Mm -hmm. Liens or mortgages. Got it. Okay. Okay. Hello, Neil. And this is Michael. Hi. I, I just got a question as a realtor. So, you know, when we go to the appointment and our process to list the property, and since we don't know what the way the seller might go, but the process is that if we find out that we, you know, the, the client will need to do some work there. Uh, just asking the question, I don't know, to maybe Robert or Neil. I mean, we'll take the listing, but it won't go live until you guys finish. And I don't know what, how long it's going to be, one month or two months. Is that the way? That's the procedure, Neil? Cindy's going to know that better than I do. But basically, I think that's the way it should go, Robert. Yeah, you sign, you sign the listing contract, and then that way you have the listing. And whenever the work's done, then it goes live. So, yeah. So, and then Emily, on the, on the equity thing, I want to just a follow up on that. So what if the, so what if we take the listing and it fits the parameters and it's not selling? And so we want to do a price reduction. And now does that, and what, and if that price reduction kind of goes below what the, the guidelines are, how does that impact things? Yeah, um, that I'm not exactly sure of. Okay. So they, I don't, they don't get a bathroom, Robert. Oh, got it. <laughs> we take out the bathroom. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we decided we're not going to renovate the bathroom. Okay. okay. No, I will certainly get back to you on that. We used to require, um, again, those price reductions. It used to be part of the business model. Yep. So I am off the top of my head, I'm, I'm, guessing it wouldn't affect the amount that the homeowner would um, essentially pay at closing. Um, but I will certainly get back to you on that for sure. Got it. Okay. So um, <clears throat> well, let's see, uh, Yvette had a question. What's the average cost of repairs or renovation your company has done so far? Question one. And the second part of that, how long have you guys been in business? And the third question is, where do you find reviews about Curbio? Yeah, um, so you can find reviews of Curbio um, at curbio.com. We have a, a bunch of case studies. I have one in the chat here um, as well. I have a renovation, um, I believe in Oakland. Um, it's one of, the, one of the few California ones that we have. Um, so I am, I'm fairly new to Curbio, just a couple of weeks, um, but I believe we were started, I want to say in 2017. So we've been here 
uh, been in this space for a little bit now. Um, and then the average cost of repairs or renovation. That stat, it's fairly specific for each market um, since we try to be consistent with the pricing in um, in each market and each market is different. Um, so, you know, you'll get different pricing for, you know, I'm in DC, I'll get different pricing in DC um, than you, y'all will in, um, out there in Southern California. Um, but we have seen the ROI on average is 209%. Um, on all of our projects. So definitely worthwhile. Um, just about everything, again, sells in half the time. And we've seen a 25% increase um, on commissions and um, overall um, uh, list price and um, and essentially the, the money that your clients get out of it, a 25% increase um, on Curbio projects than on projects that don't use Curbio. Emily, when I Googled it, it said 2017, but I don't know if this is only LA County. Great. I'm going to trust Google. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I think I heard it somewhere. Somebody told me that. <laughs> All right. Good. Good, good, good. All right. What other questions do we have? Yeah, I think I have time for a couple more. I have a question. This is Tess. Thank you, Emily. Of now, when you say that you only work with agent licensed agent now now the contract is only between the seller i mean the homeowner and you right and yes ma'am the agents are not going to be responsible for it is that am i hearing it right correct correct okay. we do though since we're not a brokerage and we're not real estate agents we do defer to you guys to set the list price and like the arv like list price after renovation. We look to you guys to look at the comps. You guys know the area. So you know, like, A, what needs to be done to get your client's target list price um, and B, what what that home should be listed for. Um, I guess my real question was, if, you know, we always say it's going to be great and everything is good. If it goes sideways, uh, I guess my real question is we're not going to be responsible for paying or because we're not the owner of the property, although we are involved in the transaction. And so there's no liability on our end, right? Absolutely. No liability okay. in your guys' end. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Perfect. Sounds pretty good. Looks take a chance. So, really <laughs> so let me so let me kind of chime in here for a second. Where we I think this is a powerful thing and some of the stuff that the owner of Kerbio was talking about at Inman is a couple things. One, if you're competing against iBuyers, because one of the benefits of an iBuyer program is that they can buy the property as is. And the homeowner doesn't want to come out of money pocket to pay for it. So they're like, okay, well, I'll just go with this program. They'll buy the property as is. So this competes against the iBuyer program on that. Okay. You still don't have to come out of pocket and we'll get the work done. Two, as Emily said, there are companies out there that will do like bridge loans and stuff like that. Well, they'll loan the seller money to say, hey, we'll loan you to do the repairs. And then, you know, we just get paid back at closing. But there's fees. There's all kinds of other things that she explained. But this is but to some clients, this is that's that's an option is cool. I can get these renovations and I don't have to come out of pocket. So this combats that logically. Without. Logically, Robert, to add on to what you're saying, it, there's going to probably be a, a cost benefit to the seller because if you do a bridge loan, you have the cost of the loan, whatever that might be, and you also have the cost of the repairs. And the, if they're doing the repairs at fair market value within a certain range, and you don't have to pay the cost of the loan, that's going to be net less expensive. That makes sense? Yep. Now, uh, the other thing too is, Emily, um, I think I heard this, that you can't do a, a, a for sale by owner, 
Johnny Jones wants to sell the house himself. He's not listed with a real estate agent. You won't do business with him, correct? Correct. Okay, so there's a marketing opportunity for everyone here to go out and talk to the for sale by owners and say, yeah. if you list with me, you get this option that you can't get otherwise. Yep. That's, That's an really excellent point. point for That's sure. Really point. Yeah. The, the, and then the last thing that I'll mention on this, where I see this as a value is I know none of you ever have this problem. It's just the people that are on my coaching calls is I have a listing coming up, but they're, they're going to do some repairs. And that takes forever because they don't know what they're doing. This solves that problem. So I, I think there's a it. couple really cool ways you can utilize this. If nothing else, you at least have it available if a client needs it. I think that was great. This, um, is, a, this is a great talking point that you, when you're on the phone, talk about and get the appointment. Do not sell this over the phone, please. Go to the appointment and sell it. Because they're just gonna take the idea, give it to their other agent, and you're gonna lose a listing opportunity. So, and then Emily, how far out can we go? I mean, our offices are pretty much LA, San Bernardino, Riverside County. I mean, where's the, Orange. Where's the limitations? Yeah, let me go ahead and grab, we have a map where you can input a zip code um, for, a, for a property um, and see if we service that area. But I believe we are in the Los Angeles market. Let me go ahead and add that. I know, I, I know you're in LA. I just don't know how far, you know, like oh, how yes. far we can go. Gotcha. It's a 40 mile radius around uh, the LA area. But there's that map. And then <clears throat> quickly, um, I'll answer Eduardo and Christina's questions. Um, so yes, yeah, so if, um, so with our contract, if the property doesn't sell and for some reason if the homeowner is not wanting to pay us, we just um, enforce um, just normal business practices to collect what is owed to us. Essentially, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, and then who hires the crew or the, the sub trunk, uh, subcontractors are the, um, property managers, uh, on the project that are local to the area. So they have their own network of subcontractors, um, and then, and they vet them. And we also do a heavy vetting, um, process as well for all subcontractors that work on Curbio, um, projects. Um, and they're super reliable since our company is growing and growing at a rapid pace. We're being extra, um, doing extra vetting, extra checkups, um, just making sure everyone's working to the standard that we've set. Um, so you can definitely be sure, um, that your subcontractors are going to be top notch. Um, and then we also, we pay the subcontractors, we pay them same day if we can as well. Um, and then they give up the right to um, put any liens uh, on the property as well. So you can feel safe with that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah. So Emily, what, question. What's the average cost of a Los Angeles renovation? Hmm. Again, I can't give specific numbers. Um, that might be something in uh, the HIC would be able to, to help um, speak to more. Um, and it really does depend on the property itself, um, on the average cost, because sometimes we do huge renovations of like a, a full basement um, and a full kitchen. And sometimes we just do like a refresh of a bathroom. So it really ranges anywhere from like a thousand dollar project to like an $800,000 project. Um, it's all over the map. As long as there's equity, there's no cap. Yes, sir. Got it. Um, there was a question about workman's comp, et cetera, but your general contractors provide workman's comp, correct? We're not responsible for any of that kind of stuff as a company or as an agent? Correct. No, it's all Kirby. Home. We all, we deal with all that. And um, what's the, what if any uh, involvement is the real estate agent got? Do they need to take pictures along the way? Do they need to report in and 
Is there anything like that that needs to happen? No, your project manager will be in charge of all that, providing updates and, and photos. Um, I've been on a few calls with um, investors and they're essentially like doing projects where they cannot physically go to a site. Um, so in hindsight, we're essentially you, or in theory, you wouldn't ever have to go visit the site. Um, our uh, project managers are constantly sending picture updates, videos of what's going on with the projects and consistently keeping you in the loop on what's happening. Um, Let me ask you a question. Yes, Emily, sir. that brings up another thing. So if I buy a property and it needs to be completely renovated because I want to flip it, um, you guys open to that? Yes, sir. As long as it's being bought or sold and the um, person selling um, the property is represented by a real estate agent. Um, I have, we have worked with investors who are also agents, so they'll do that. They'll essentially buy a property, use Curbio to help flip it. And then they're the agent. So they sell it. Um, so yeah, totally open to that. And you don't, you don't have an issue where I own the property and I'm the agent and I'm pricing it. No, we do. We trust um, that you know the market and, you know, you know what homes are selling for and, and the comps for the area. So as long as you're a licensed realtor, you can certainly do that. Who funds, who funds Curbio? Which bank are you related to? That I do not know. I'll, I'll get back it to doesn't, that. It doesn't matter. I was okay. just curious. <laughs> no worries. That'd be one hell of a line of credit. <laughs> That's something I should know for sure. But I can certainly get back to you on that. Emily, Emily this is Michael. I got a question. What is your typical time if you had to do go there and you had to do a you know a full remodelation? You know, you gotta remodel it just to sell it. Is that about a month or two? What is your typical timing? Yeah. Um, so for smaller projects, uh average is about four weeks. Um, larger projects, about eight weeks on average. So for like a bigger right. Okay project mm -hmm. now the question is for neil now neil if it is like that for eight weeks we won't know how the market will be in two months how we do when we take the listing that we set the price already or we project it emily what's the what's the procedure on that do they set the price when it's done <clears throat> in other words if, if yeah I, if so i Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. So the agent, you you have all of the power. We certainly trust you. So if you have a price in mind from the jump, and then after renovation and looking at the trends in the market, um, you can. It's up to your discretion to to change the pricing for sure. But if it turns out to be a nicer project, and the market's jumped a little bit, you're not stuck with the price you projected in the beginning. You can raise it. The, an amount of money too, correct? Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. So you mentioned that it only it takes anywhere from four weeks to eight weeks. What if the project requires permits and uh, the contractor has to go to the city, get approvals, planning commissions? Are they familiar with that and do they do that? Yes, we take care of all permitting. And as I'm sure all of you are aware of, we're at the mercy of the permitting. Um, so if for some reason there is delays with that, it could push the time back a little bit. Um, but on average, we we try to stay within those time frames. Um, but we take care of all the permitting. Um, and we are unfortunately at the mercy of permitting as, as most contractors are. Yeah, um, I've got to jump here in a little bit, but I can certainly get back to you guys on the questions that I wasn't 1000% sure on. Um, and then if you all have any other questions, um, feel free to email team at curvio.com um, or um, Robert can get you in touch with me as well. Um, and then if you guys are using Curbio and really love it and want to do a partnership with us, um, let me know and I can certainly get you in touch with our partnerships team. Um, Will you say partnership? What does that mean? 
Yeah. Um, so with, we have a full partnership program. Um, so essentially we would be the concierge service that you guys offer, um, as a brokerage, um, the partnerships team can certainly speak more to that. And, um, you know, you would get the benefits of being a partner, um, as well. But if you're, if you're interested in that, I would, um, I can definitely get you in touch with our, um, partnership team and, and an account manager to go. Well, we can that. use this without being a partner, correct? Absolutely. Got it. Okay. All right. Really, thank you so much. That was great. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. My pleasure. Um, yeah. Don't hesitate to, to hit up our, our email and um, let us know if you have any questions about anything at all. We're here for you and request that free estimate right now. All right. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thanks, Emily. Emily, you're, so you're the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good one. All Thank right. You. Thank okay, you. Christina, the question, Christina, are you there? Or did she leave? No, I'm here. I'm here. So you would ask, I think this was answered earlier. Do they charge any interest or any extra fees? She, that was asked and asked and answered a couple times and both times it was no, but you know, of course we didn't see the contract yet. Yeah, actually, I went ahead and and put and requested some type of like direction on one of the properties. Right. So I did it already. So I can get a, a little bit more information about how it works because it looks like I've been having this um, ads on my phone already. So it's interesting. Okay, good stuff. All right, other questions, guys and gals. Uh, Patty Ventura, I don't know as no, far. No, it. I, I checked the map, Patty. It it's goes out L.A. all the way L.A. County, so all the way to Westlake Village, down to uh, Point Magoo on the coast. So it's pretty much the border of Ventura, L.A. County. Orange County goes all the way down to San Clemente, so pretty much all of Orange County, L.A. County's cover. Uh, a lot of San Bernardino County is covered. Riverside County, there's a lot of gray areas, grayed out areas in Riverside County. Um, so you'd have to double check where the listing is there. But pretty much all of LA, Orange County, and uh, most of San Bernardino County is covered. So Patty, I only have one question for you. When do you plan on moving? <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'll drive there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Great, great work, Robert. Thanks for bringing that in. Yeah. I, th I think that, again, even if you don't use it, just knowing about it, when you run into those listings where they need some renovations, this is a tool. And the more options you provide to your sellers, the better you look. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the iBuyer thing is probably not going away. And I know we've lost a couple of listings, not many, but we have lost a couple to that program and this could be a way to combat that. So I just think it's a great tool to have, whether you use it or not. Yeah. So good stuff. And if you, and uh, curbio.com is the website, team at curbio.com is the email address if you wanna request some information from them or get a free estimate or anything like that. So a lot of cool stuff there. All right, good. Thank you good, so much. Good. Thanks for being here. I guess I'll stop the recording. <laughs>